Hello miners and crafters, and welcome back to Metacraft. This is the last episode of Season 1, Episode 20, and I'm here with our good friend Beagle to do a world Hello. tour. Hello. <laughs> where are we, Beagle? We are in the starter district of Metacraft, where we started our world right about a year ago at this point, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, uh, about a year and two weeks ago, yeah. It's just been the anniversary, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's also over. Uh, <laughs> but, you know what? We, we can still, you know, keep our memories. We made our videos. We can always look back on all these good times fondly. But we wanted to do a whole entire world tour for you guys today uh, as my final episode for the series. Beagle already wrapped his series up, but he's also recording, and this will end up on his channel as well. Yeah, it's going to be like a bonus episode, basically. Yeah. And uh, speaking of bonus episode, don't worry about me. I am going to be making plenty of more bonus Metacraft <laughs> Season 1 content uh, over the course of the next few months. You'll see that stuff popping on the channel. I love this world too much to just let it disappear from <laughs> from my life that easily. So, all right, enough <laughs> said about that. Let's Let's start off our world tour. Let's go back over here. Obviously, this is the iron farm that we built together as a community early in the season so that we could all have free iron all season long, which was a great idea that I came up with. <laughs> <laughs> Just going to toot my horn there. Let's come up these <laughs> stairs. Let's check out. These were some of the first houses built on the server. They were here, uh, yeah. so you talk about them. Yes, yeah, so this here, this diorite beauty here, this is my starter house, which I actually never finished because I don't finish my products. That is a very common theme, but there is a upstairs, which I basically never showed off. This is where I had like a small meeting with Max because we were talking about the wood shop and stuff. 
and he actually lived in my house for a pretty long time, <laughs> even though he had his own house. So, yeah, right here we kind of <laughs> had an agreement to connect them up with a bridge that didn't really get finished either. No. But what is what is this here? <laughs> Oh, oh, I, I think um, this is your next. I think no, this is your I did. Next. I actually did this. Oh, yeah. Did you do that? He never finished oh, the awesome. house. Like, so <laughs> I came in and I put all the lighting in. Oh. <laughs> so this was this was Beagle's stuff that he had <laughs> on him and in his inventory at the end. And, and of this is the ender one. chest. And this was the contents of his ender chest. Wow, your ender chest only had a few shulkers in there. A bunch of crap. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't very organized. No, I, I mean, look at it. Iron shovel, sunflower. <laughs> Why the fuck's there an iron shovel in there, dude? It's <laughs> a year into the world and you still have an yeah. iron shovel in your inventory and a sunflower, I had, bro. I, I had a silk touch shovel and I needed snowballs. Look at all those arcade thing. tokens you didn't spend. Holy shit. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, all and right. this is very... The, if you remember the beginning of the season uh, one where the thing yeah. was hidden, the water block. Yeah, that, that was, was before that was before I was filming. Um before I before I started my series, guys, uh I actually started a little mini game for us here when we were all in the starter district at the beginning of the season where I, I hit a wart block uh in here. I, it, was it a, it was a warped block, right? Blue warped block, the the blue yeah. one, yeah. The blue one. Blue and one. Uh, we, I would just hide it in people's bases and in, in spots that you know it wouldn't be out in the open. You would have to dig around and look. But that was the first spot that I hid it in, and then yeah, like that. <laughs> I think it should just stay or, like that. Wait, isn't it? It was wasn't this, it this one. one. No, it was this okay, one. Okay, okay. <laughs> Big this boy keys starter base. And it, it's literally just this, like this little, I don't know what the hell this was supposed to be. He had a little smelter here with sugar cane and bones in there. I don't understand. Um, <laughs> I built this smelter for him, actually. Yeah, very small I house. He, I think he changed it. Is there anything else? There's just another mine. No, he literally just built this house and then immediately started building his base. Like, we, we were all planning on spending a lot of time in the starter district, but he literally, like, day one made that and didn't even finish it, just moved on right away. He didn't want to hang with us. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> talk, talk about this house. Soul's house, yes. Yeah, so Ooh. Soul was Ooh. a member. Soul, <laughs> I know. I haven't heard that name in a while, but he was a member with us for the few first months, actually. How long was he with us? With like For like a month? A month. Months, like, like a, month, a month, but he didn't like fully like decide to like leave permanently until like three months in. He didn't play for yeah. like two months, then he was just like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to come back, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but there was, right here, this open spot, there was um, uh, bookshelves and an enchanting table here, but once he said he wasn't coming back, I claimed that shit. That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, oper opportunistic elements, okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All these chests in here, they've been ransacked through. If I ever needed like a specific block, I came in here looking for stuff. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Um, I mean, okay. he did build a nice uh, Enderman farm, which yes. we did use the whole season. Oh yeah. 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 That so was. That was awesome. That was clutch. I we we like Soul, uh, but he's just a figment of our imagination, pretty much at this yeah. point. I love the it's house so that he made, though. It's very different, very unique. I'm I'm, I'm appreciative of the of the unique style. It's that he very made. wacky. It's, I I like the archways on the bottom. To yeah, be honest. those are pretty cool. Well, then speaking of wacky buildings, right next to it, we've got Malik's house here in the starter district. Uh, which Talk he, about starter houses. I know, Holy right? Smoke. He intentionally made it impossible to get to, and so I pissed him off one day and built this little bridge. <laughs> <laughs> um, that looks like a Enderman's job there. All right, coming up here, he just basically had this little area with some storage to hang out in, and then I need to show... Where is it? There it is. I'm not going to show the chest. <laughs> <laughs> Crackheads with a bunch of cocaine. Yeah, that's, that's Malik's sense of humor for you guys right there. Turnips Adobe Premiere. <laughs> was that you that did that, or was that? Him? Oh, how did I not see that ever? Oh, oh so it, it wasn't you. <laughs> I didn't even know this was a thing. Oh, Were, that is awesome. <laughs> weren't you the one that like called it that though at first, and then he I, put the I, sign. I called it Turnips Lovely Abode, I think. Oh, and then he just made the joke. Oh, it's very Adobe. funny. Adobe. <laughs> um, so yes, Turnips House has an enchanting setup in it as well that I took advantage of for a little while. I actually at one point hit the wart block right behind his ender chest right there. 
Um, that was a good. I spot. actually found it for him. I think. Oh, you might we have. We're hanging out, and I found it. I I did this hole. late in the season, dude. It's one point seventeen. Look at the different ores, the different ore oh, textures. It looks better this way. I it think. looks better. <laughs> My build looks sick now because of that. But yeah, I added those <laughs> ores really late in the season, um, just because I had extra diamond ore that i did not need diamonds from so i did that uh this was my home the button to get in is behind that banner we have all of our friends here we have why is this chicken not named that chicken is oh because i threw a a egg and that's a baby that's clucker and buckler's baby right there so we got oh nice. buckler and clucker there you guys will see where they came from later dinner bone right here uh well you already know where those chickens came from if you watched the series <laughs> um, this is Comet, right? Or is it Dasher? Or Dan which, whichever, which, whichever, uh, reindeer this one was supposed to be. <laughs> and then I've got uh, my other, uh, good boy here in the corner. This is your end of the world stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. This is, this was my suit of armor that I was wearing when the season ended. And this was the contents of my end chest. You can see I was a lot more organized than Beagle was. <laughs> I have boxes for different things. And then uh, these things were this was this was what was in my inventory. Only things that are necessary, including the acacia boat. That's very necessary. <laughs> this is Mike's space. Yep, this is Mike's starter house. I actually love. I never noticed this under the stairs. Actually, I guess Me I didn't either. come in here very often. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no reason to really. Yeah, I love the windows though. Those are yeah, very nice. yeah. He's he's got, he's such a great builder. We're so happy that he's on this server. This is technically starter district still. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is <laughs> ladies is still... and starter house, <laughs> but it's very I... far away from the rest of us. Look at all of the unused space we actually have here. When you look at the planes. Yep, definitely. There's a lot of space still. Yeah. She saw this mountain and was like, uh, no, I'm going to go over there. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> but it's a very cute house. I love how she sectioned off the room here with the fences. And she's got the uh, the shelves up here. It's so nice. All right, so, this was awesome. I'll let you introduce it because you built it. Oh, uh, yeah. This is the starter town, uh, town hall. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this was actually a community project we talked about for quite a while. And... We never actually ended up finishing it completely. It's finished, I'd say. I mean, it's finished enough. <laughs> it's I finished. I was hoping every... Yeah, yeah. I, I think I was going to say the same thing you were about to say, is that we <laughs> we finished the bill. We just wanted people to go in and add stuff to the museum. Yes. And they didn't do yeah. that. Only you and I did, which is kind of sad. But we'll go in and we'll check it out. The idea, I, I knew that there was this big open hill here that we should use for something in the starter district. And I came up with the idea of like a town hall. And that idea did evolve also into like a museum. So we have everybody's maps of their bases here. I don't think they're fully updated, these maps, Beagle, right? Um, I don't think they are. No, no yeah, it's not. I know like... that this island here on Zentra's base is uh, grassy now. So um... yeah, I think these are like two or three months. Uh, yeah. They're lacking two or three months of actual work. Like if you look at my base, then all of the roofs should be completely differently colored because I actually changed that a lot. And also this top part of my base is slightly different. So, right, yeah. yeah. So some things are different here for sure, but uh, we have pretty much everybody's uh, map of their base here. Uh, yeah, so this unnamed one is Mac to it. Yeah. And the motherboard is, of course, going to get the biggest map because it's the biggest base. <laughs> yeah. We got Lady Zentra. It's got some right. girth, I'd say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, coming into the museum part now, because this is the part that I worked on. Um this actually, yeah, I did all of this actually. So what was nice though is that Beagle built the whole facade outside. So like this upstairs area right here existed. And then this up top here, he had built this thing up here. But they weren't all connected. So basically I did the little bit of work to connect them up. And uh, this downstairs area was all like stone. I actually excav excavate this. So I'm proud of what I was able to accomplish here, to be honest, because, <laughs> uh, I'm not a builder and I felt like this was a really good, uh, setup for a museum. So let's look at all the things that you and I added here. We got Santa and Benz 2020. 
pretty cool. From the Secret Santa event, that was really fun. Yeah, and just like Christmas time in general. I was super yeah, into the Christmas spirit this past year because obviously it was 2020 and we couldn't hang out with our families. So my Metacraft family got all the love. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. What else is there? Oh, I want to come uh, back. There's the here. season one road competition thing. Yeah. Uh, how do I get over there? There we go. Uh, can I? Yeah. Yep. You can just right click on it or uh, do the middle click and you can read it if you wanted to. I'm just going to flick through the thing uh, so people can see. Same. If you want to read that, you can pause. <laughs> um, <laughs> so this hoe was a gift to me, but I ended up hiding it in Beagle's wood shop, and he found it and decided to, to display it here. <laughs> oh, that was... You had no idea how buffooned I was <laughs> when I accidentally flew into the tower and I saw all of the things that were there. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that was so much fun. So you decided to also display your first fortune three pick, which is very cool. Uh, yeah, I didn't really display that much stuff because I haven't really accomplished much. Or actually, I didn't even have a lot of stuff to accomplish. This is the warped for the block. Yep. I think. I gave this to Envent uh, during the Secret Santa thing. I have no idea if yep. that's actually the case. But you said it was like... 40% that it was the real <laughs> one, and I like that you know they gave trump a, they gave trump a 30 percent chance to win the 2016 election and that shit happened so i'm gonna go ahead and say that this is the warped warp block <laughs> iou to nbents redeemed two times zentra uh gave me an iou and i was able to redeem it two times <laughs> before <laughs> before it was used up so that was fun um how does that even happen <laughs> uh well because as I was helping her, or, or as she was helping me with the first thing, she thought of another thing that she needed my help with and decided to just, like, extend the IOU to another, you know, task. So it was <laughs> okay, a one enough. IOU that I got a twofer out of. Uh, this is Pickle, the world's first astronaut sheep. If you know, you know. Uh, this was my helmet while building the nether ice tunnel. And that is significant to me because... The ice tunnel to the motherboard is 2,000 blocks long and very wide, and it was very early in the season that I built it. It took a really long time. I was in the nether for, like, months. So this hat was worn for an extremely long time. So that's a cool thing for me, I guess. Um, did you just take my hat? You just broke the hat? He just broke my cat! Bingo! <laughs> Walking away now. <laughs> Guys, we have a backup. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> we have a backup. Yeah, a backup of the world. Yeah, but he just deleted the hat because we're in creative. He probably just tried to take it off and put it on his head. No, he punched I, it I didn't have my hand on the mouse. I have a new mouse. It's really uh... easy to click on it. I hit my mouse. I destroyed the helmet. I'm literally like, this hat's very special to me. And he's like, fuck your hat, dude. All right, this was my first iron uh, suit of armor, my first suit of armor on the server. So I kept that. And then uh, Malik's pants. Malik wagered his pants in a game of uh, Cloud Wars early in the season. Beagle won it, and then he gifted it to me with uh, the Secret Santa stuff. <laughs> All right, before we leave the starter district, let's go check out the corruption. Corruption, possible corruption banners. Z? Does yeah, Zentra make kind, you banners? Kind of ironic, isn't it? <laughs> that is very ironic. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was actually re-watching um, the episode today where you and uh, Zentra are looking at the the uh, crystal in my volcano. I was watching that last night, and I forgot that there's technically a truce right now between Skalk and the Corruption, right? Because you guys kind of laid down your, your uh, weapons between each other to help save my base, and then that ended up with that massive dragon fight. And since then, nothing's really happened. So isn't is there kind of a truce between you guys right now? I mean, I, mean, I don't even know if, if the corruption is going to come back, right, in the second season. True. <laughs> I have no idea. Lead yeah, so this was... When we built this whole thing, It's all it all started with, like, this single tower mm. here in the front, which was a fun project. We had, like, vines here that someone already decided to cut down but we had like vines like this and this is how we got up and we basically just scouted the entire area here the basic 
premise of the corruption was literally to just have fun <laughs> and messing around with people. That was all of the things we actually wanted to do. Yeah. And um, here, by yeah. the way, I just want before you move to the next place. I like how you didn't throw me under the bus. Uh, I am the one that broke the chain. Because <laughs> ah. <laughs> you were well, on I it and I trolled you, remember? Oh, I remember. <laughs> so this was the meeting room we had. And the basic idea was that every corruption member would build another like part of the build here on the inside. So I built everything as far as the exterior goes and everything here in the middle. And then we had all of these little like side room so this is supposed to be like the research facility here damn over here uh, kind of messy <laughs> but you this know, was fun we, uh, yeah i i saw k's working on this room on one of his streams months and months ago but honestly i never actually came into this part of the corruption building like i've never seen any of this in person Oh, it's so close to being finished as well. It's kind of bugging me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's over. It's never getting finished. <laughs> too late. Oh, there's my food shulker box. There we go. Oh my gosh. Beagle keeps finding his shulkers everywhere. <laughs> oh, there's my wallet. Oh my god. Wait, your <laughs> wallet has are, glass in it? These are the original crystals. Oh, those are the crystals? Those. Oh my god. Yeah. All right, we're going to leave those there. <laughs> I'm literally going to find my whole ender chest contents. As we so, go around here. This place is super cool and I wish that I had come to check it out. I actually this this place is so cool it makes me wish I was part of the corruption, but <laughs> <laughs> but I was not. Alright, um is that it for the corruption then? Shall we move I on? mean it, I just wanna show off the bell on the top, that's oh, all I wanna show off. <laughs> Ooh, There's a bell. There? Oh nice, nice. You, you don't it, it's just it's just a bell, that's it. I probably got a couple diamonds from that one. Alright, so, so I guess we can show off everything here as well. Well, yeah, I was going to say we're going to be going in and out of the nether hub for the next few uh, bases, obviously. So you guys can see, you know, just the nether hub passively because it's really just a bunch of hallways that connect different portals together. Um, but I made this portal room. I was very proud. of. Actually, I I made the whole hub pretty much, but <laughs> I made it's really this easy. portal room and I was it's very really proud. easy to go through portals. Yeah, oh, you yeah, accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where'd Beagle go? I'll walk through your base. <laughs> I mean, it is kind of designed to be kind of a yeah. base you kind of get lost in. Yeah, and so, I definitely got lost yeah. in it a bunch of times, so. <laughs> There's a chicken on my coat. I saw oh, no. <laughs> it, it just it pooped out. out an egg. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, you talking shit? Get, okay, so get my right. base was basically designed to be like a industrial landscape mm -hmm. type of dealio, like 90s factories mm -hmm. vibe. And I never, of course, got to actually finish it. But I think I made pretty good progress towards the end of the season. <laughs> I never saw these power lines. Oh, those are very fun. Those That's are like, dope. I think, one of the last episodes when I actually worked on this area to make it more natural. That's so cool. Nice. Yeah, so I guess we should start like with the main building and then we're gonna move on to the smaller ones. Agreed. So just to quickly walk around, you can see that I was kind of like designing these pathways. So there would always be like the, there wouldn't be any down moments when you're walking around the base. Cause there's always twists and turns and there's always stuff to see, ah, right? Ah, that's how you get up there. Okay. Yep. So there's a staircase there. There's another staircase down there, which leads down. To those parts <laughs> so each of the buildings in the base all have a different purpose though right yes basically each one of them is a different farm of sorts mm -hmm. so this one here we're gonna look at them in detail in just a second but this one here is supposed to be a xp farm ah then this one is supposed to be a sugarcane farm right we got a basalt and a mini crop farm here nice. and this was supposed to be a b and uh slime farm nice, nice. and the, what, what, what was this one? Oh yeah pumpkin and melons pumpkin and melons dang oh and each build is unique and detailed differently and very very amazing uh infrastructure <laughs> or uh, is that what I no architecture uh that I that I am admiring here I, I I really like how each one has unique properties to them and <laughs> Have, uh, and and, and they yeah. each serve a purpose. That's that's me. That's big for me in Minecraft. Things need to have a purpose. 
Yes, that was the main thing. To be fair, I actually burnt out really quickly from building all of these because they are kind of samey. <laughs> They're kind of the same. It's always just bricks. Yeah, the block kind palette. Of the same yeah. block palette. So going forward, I really do want to do something else and not just build the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. Season two? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go into the main part of your build, though. Yeah, so this was supposed to be like a control tower, so the idea behind the base also was to have a single tower which can control a lot of stuff around the base. So going in, I still have this, I kept this up, kept th this as a heirloom <laughs> to when I got a trident from Turnip. Nice. But yeah, this was like a small sweet berry bush farm here in the middle. And walking up, I never properly lit up the staircase, so there's end roads everywhere. I'd everywhere. say that's proper. <laughs> I can't speak, to, speak today. But yeah, this here was the main part of the build. And the idea was that each lever here would activate a different thing. That's so sick. First storage system, like the oh, manual one yep, on the yep, bottom. Yep. I used this for the longest time. Yep. Until I should build that thing up there. This is a nightmare for me. I can't <laughs> I can't do this. This is too much clutter. This was a foolproof design. Only I knew where everything was. No one could like steal anything from me. It was perfect. <laughs> well, I actually spent forever looking through every single barrel. I wanted to look at this. Oh this. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't make this. Okay. This was case. Of course you didn't. <laughs> and we know that because I didn't know I didn't know there was chickens in here. Did you do that or did somebody else? Uh, An Enderman placed a gravel block here, and they all escaped this little pun. <laughs> uh -huh. Um, yeah, no, but we all know that this is K's, uh, and K's did a really good job of trying to frame me. Uh, but eventually, he did admit that it was him that made this. So okay, who are we gonna go to next? Uh, next, we're going to go to Alpha Mike's first base. Okay, so to give a little backstory, Alpha Mike actually played twice with us. <laughs> that might sound kind of weird, but he played with us when we started, then he left, and then he came back near the end of the world. Mm -hmm. So he's got two separate bases. Yep. So this base he was building in the Fantasy District, uh, and so it's very fantastical. I mean, look at the build itself. It looks very fantastic. <laughs> um, <laughs> down here, this is where he would farm uh, the uh, stem blocks, the uh, warped and oh. crimson stems. He would he would farm them here. Uh, this is where he had uh, pretty much yeah in his stream light too, and he had his bamboo and sugarcane farms down here as well. So this was pretty much just his farming area, and then um, up here. This is his storage, and then over here, this is just where he lives, this house right here. And I love, I, the one thing that I really love about everything Mike does is it's always so detailed. There's almost never symmetry, um, and it's just always cozy. It's just always cozy. Like, I don't even know how you do this sort of stuff like that. It's so cool. Wow, right. my frames are dying. I so know, bad. yeah. Prepare for lag, because this... Yeah, if you look down, the frames disappear. If you look up, it's fine. Frames. What is it? No frames. Frames. No frames. But frames. I'm kept. When I look up, I and mean, it gets halved. halved. <laughs> When I looked out. Oh my god, dude. It's it's unreal. We have to make sure he spreads out his redstone in season two, man. He can't just pack <laughs> it all down underneath one thing. That's it's just a really so cool. laggy. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool look though. Everything here. Oh, it's amazing. Room. Yeah. <laughs> look it's at so this. Pretty. The terraforming too outside. Uh pretty wild stuff that he made here. Um I made a bunch of diamonds off of him because I was the person who sold Blackstone. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Um, just absolutely crazy looking build. Took a ton of work. And then, of course, you, you hear us kind of complaining about the, the lagginess. <laughs> he has... I'm going to go down there now. I just wanted to fly up here. Uh, he has down here a ton of mega farms. And that is why it is super laggy. <laughs> in this base 
because he would AFK here. And anytime he would be online, basically the server would come to a halt. <laughs> so, And then this <laughs> yeah. is his storage area too, which is also super mega. All right, there's not a lot to say about this uh, base. This was Mag's base, Mag just set. And yeah, it's literally just a village with little... little. I mean, he, he did have... Did you not see like his actual base? Mm, no. Is this the lighthouse? Is this his actual base? No. It was up here. It was like this uh, oh. dime thing. Nope, never saw this. <laughs> Pretty cool. I mean, he didn't have much, but he, he did have some redstone farms. He's I helped got him some make salmon in there. <laughs> he actually made. Uh, I think he actually made both of these himself. Nice job, so Mag. Cool. All right, so this is Kaze's base. Pretty mega, also. I I also love Kaze's base. I think it's a really cool concept. <laughs> I love the His mini cube. cube. <laughs> the cube is still the there. mini cube. <laughs> uh, so this is a storage system, absolutely massive. And then down here, this is the good stuff. This is his guardian farm, which is so 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 productive. Um, comes down here is where it all collects. So. Very, very cool. His base is very simple, very easy to show off. It's just a big fucking building <laughs> with a guardian actually, farm. I never actually went down here where the actual guardians oh, yeah. get killed. He showed me it one time because I was when I was working on Deep Street, I needed like sea lanterns and things, and he was like, I'm not going to AFK, you can just use it. <laughs> I was like, all right, thanks, dude. <laughs> it's not the prettiest Afraid. base, but it's... Uh, pretty big, nonetheless. Uh, Birch, is, we can describe Birch as extra because <laughs> he just does every type of farm. Even if people have already made that type of farm and can provide that resource, he makes everything for himself. He's got a... That's an insanely productive slime farm right now. There are so many slimes right there right now. Holy crap. Uh, so yeah, he's got a slime farm, even though I already had one and Beagle already had one. He's got the sugar cane farm, even though we already had those. He's got mob farms, and this is actually such a sick mob farm. Just a reminder, Birch actually joined the server pretty late yeah, compared to us. Yeah, that's the other thing. And then look at all this obsidian. He literally hand-mined all this obsidian. He could have bought oh the obsidian goodness. from me or bartered for the obsidian, but no, he mined all of this obsidian. And it is insane. But yeah, yeah, he joined the server probably six months into it, like halfway through, and then just made all of this absolutely massive, insane shit. And uh, he actually didn't uh, really, really commit after that. Like, he made all these farms, but he didn't want to finish his base. He kind of just saw the season ending, uh, like, a couple months in, in advance and just kind of decided that he would stop playing and go super hard in Season 2. And currently, he's going super hard in Skyblock, so... <laughs> Next base is Alpha Mike's second base. What? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, as, as Beagle mentioned, uh, Mike played with us for a couple months or a month or so and then left to go play on a different SMP and eventually decided that he wanted to come back to Metacraft and we welcomed him with open arms because we love Mike and he makes crazy builds like this one. Um, I don't even know how you get into the build. I don't think you do. I don't think <laughs> I you do think either. You. I'm pretty sure it's just supposed to be this, like, UFO that landed and you're just supposed to admire it. There's an event. Hey, look at how cool <laughs> it is on the you inside. You don't see me, probably. There, oh, there you are. Hey. <laughs> so, this was, like, an Ikea base because Mike came back <laughs> to the server <laughs> towards the end of the server where everybody just had all the farms and all the resources, and he basically, like, designed this in a creative world or something and then got the exact number of blocks that he would need for it because he uses the schematic mod and whatever. So he just told me the numbers of all the different blocks that he needed, and Lady Zentra and I literally just gave him his base in a few shulker boxes and then he just made it on a couple streams. So this base mm. was the fastest base to be built probably in the history of Minecraft. Zentra's base over here, which is 
pretty ambitious if you actually realize what this is actually supposed to be. So th it is this like giant Greek inspired. I don't even know how to describe it in another way. It's just so green. And then you realize that it's built in the Badlands biome, in a yeah. Mesa biome, which doesn't even have green dirt. Yep. This is how the, the dirt looks. It's this brownish. You can see because she can't color. plant bamboo on concrete powder, so she left some of the sand here for her bamboo. So you can see that this was Badlands, actually. And also, I have F3 up right now, so you can see the biome there. Um, yeah, if you look at the island from the bottom, it's all Badlands, but she converted basically all of it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's beautiful. Um, there are tons of different uh, things going on here. This is her storage. Uh, this big building here near the near the uh, nether portal is her storage building. She's got a building back there for some farms. The kelp, that's kelp, bamboo, and sugar cane over there. She's got ender porters over there for people. Beagle was designing this on the top. I think this is so sick, dude, what you were doing on the <laughs> top there. Um, she's got this statue, which is gorgeous with the butterfly on it. She's got leaves with water spilling out of them. Uh, she's got a bunch of animals too. I helped get, I helped her get a bunch of these, uh, animals. I helped her with the pandas. I helped her get these mushrooms. Uh, the mushrooms, yeah. Yep, yep, the mushrooms. And then also, I don't know where it is, but I got her a, um, what's the type of cat in the jungle? I can't think of the name right now. Ocelot. Ocelot, thank you. I was so brain farting there. <laughs> I couldn't think of it. But yeah, she has an ocelot somewhere that I helped her get to. Oh, it's right here. Here he is, right next to the pandas. Oh, there he is. Yeah, Harold. <laughs> Harold. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, of course, over here, she's got her um, villagers, and then she's got a terracotta uh, storage system. I got her these charged creepers, too. And then there's some more cool stuff on the roof here. Did you do that stuff, too, or did she? It's my bed, I think. I think this is my bed. <laughs> okay, then it was you. <laughs> and then, yeah. Oh, I never saw this over here. Oh, my God. What is this? I never saw this. <gasps> Me neither. What? what? Like a cupcake. Cupcakes cupcake house. Oh, I wonder if somebody on her stream like asked her to build this or something. Hmm. I Home don't know, but this is magical. One other thing I want us both to look at, though, um, and acknowledge, though, is this massive fucking skulk crystal that she's got. Like, all the other crystals from the server have disappeared, but she still has this one, and I don't know what it's for or what the plan is but <laughs> <laughs> she still has that so i don't know corruption be on guard i guess all right so this... let's talk while we go wait, 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 oh you want to hop there in we go. <laughs> let's talk while we go down this so that we can include this in the video <laughs> because i worked really hard on this fucking tunnel okay <laughs> um I, I mentioned that it's like almost two thousand blocks long you can see there's basalt black stone ice and all of this crimson and warped uh wood now i need you to know that this was built before 1.16.2 and 1.16.2 they made it so you could get black stone from bartering this was before that i need to stress that i mined all of this black stone manually okay I have crazy stats in this world, and my blackstone stat is pretty nuts. Um, <laughs> and that's a lot of words, and we are finally here. <laughs> Took a there long you. time, but we have arrived at my volcano. We are here. Uh, I guess, let's before we go into the motherboard, let's just look out here. Because we can see the madness that I had to endure uh, this season making a wither skeleton farm, which for some reason doesn't work. There it is. Okay, I was going to say it's not working. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> and then over here, I have my bartering farm in this little enclave here, and my, my honey farm. My honey, I my, got my, all my bees up here, and I got my bartering set up over here. Very, very cool. All right. <laughs> if you want more detail, watch the episodes. So welcome to the motherboard. This was the first uh, wing of the motherboard that existed so when I started building the base I basically just made this big ass nether portal and then stuck this hallway off of it that led over here 
to my storage system. So my storage system is just a basic sorter with a bunch of silos attached to it. Um, right here we have other basic storage where you can just manually put blocks in and out. Uh, right here is the super smelter up here. Just gonna try and really just quickly just show what th where things are. Um, I'm just gonna <laughs> try and follow you and chase yeah. you around. In here we've got our armory. Okay, so all my suits of armor are in there. And here we've got a basalt farm and a cobblestone and concrete farm. So that's a three in one farm area. Um, heading outside now. Out here we have more storage silos for the witch farm that is <laughs> that <sighs> thing back there, that little tiny thing. Um, this in a while. <laughs> <laughs> took took a lot of work. Um, Malik did most of the digging. I probably dug. I'd give myself up to like twenty five percent. But I'd say I probably dug about like more like 20% of this hole out. But I did do all the decorating, all the placing of the slime blocks, the concrete on the sides. And yeah, that was all me. And then all the storage system, all that stuff's me too. So we've got this outside area. This big storage system here is Malik's that he never finished. But I pretend it's finished because I was never going to use it anyway. Um <laughs> We have this cute courtyard area, which has tons of custom trees made by Beagle and just a bunch hey, of that's little me. cute things. That's you. <laughs> and then it just I has a bunch of other cute things. So we've got like a little <laughs> cocoa bean farm. We've got a little picnic table. We've got a little camping area with some birdies um, cooking some hoglins because hoglins suck. This tree is supposed to be the input for Malik's sorter system, but again, it's not finished. And then this lever turns off all of the beacons except for that one over there that one is a haste beacon for the mining area over there um we've got a vine farm got a little stable here for our horsies uh yeah and then we've got a huge sugarcane farm here which can also double as a bamboo farm and it did then we've got our library we've got all of the books here that you can get in the game but we've got our big door press this to open it yeah <laughs> I love it so much. It's so good. I love how in uh, your episode you were like, it was closed already, and you were like pressing the close <laughs> button to open it, and you're like, huh, it doesn't work, huh? Weird. <laughs> you didn't have the signs there yet. I, I think the signs might have been there, and you weren't reading it, right? I will check the episode because that, that, that is was very funny. possible. Yeah. That is very possible. <laughs> Um, and then, yeah, I have my own villager uh, trading hall right here with, you know, a bunch of villagers that we actually, each of them have names. They were all given names on a stream. Uh, this was the villager converter, and it's a very, very awesome closed system. It basically means I don't have to do anything but press a couple buttons to get villagers uh, to do their thing. And then the last thing in the motherboard is uh, this, my little tur turtle farm, scoot farm, right? and my wool farm so those are all the things of the motherboard we'll get a we'll go ahead and fly up now and get a nice overview of the whole thing because it's massive and we want to locate a certain somebody oh do you have any idea where he actually is <laughs> yeah i do so this is the motherboard from above actually i need to fly this way to get the uh, witch farm to load again so you can see everything Actually, I don't know if I can get everything. It's not letting me load at all. Yeah, there's yeah. no way to there's actually no way. get everything when on a server. True. But, anyway. Oh, what, what? the f- <laughs> <laughs> How did he know we were in here? <laughs> I think he tried connecting to the Skyblock server and just by habit he actually came here. Our server. Oh, that's funny. Where are oh. you, by the way? Fly above the motherboard. Oh, I I'm in... I was in spectator, so he couldn't see me. I guess I can carry on with the cube. No. <laughs> no. You have an eggy boy. This guy was a chicken that ended up in one of my storage systems, and he kept on laying eggs into the hoppers. And we <laughs> named him and let him roam free. So he's somewhere. Is this him? Yes. <laughs> egg boy! And he's laying another egg. Look, he can't stop. He's a madman. Beagle was about to say, instead of taking the long trip back to the shopping district through here, we can go through here and take a little left 
just in a second, a left right here, boop, and go straight down this way. And what we have here is is not loading. Uh, is <laughs> a stronghold What's... portal room. Oh. <laughs> and uh, this is really my nice. room. Yeah, I redecorated it with the purple and end blocks. Okay, I don't know what K's is up to. But... I have no idea. Oh, I <laughs> didn't know that they changed. This is new in 1.17. Look at that. Oh, uh -huh. That's trippy, dude. That's so trippy. Do you see that? Oh, I didn't mean to. You went through? That's fine. I'm... Okay. Anyway. I don't know if I like that. I think I like that. I oh, like the old one way better. <laughs> yeah, that one's... I don't like that. All right, but can this is... Can I see is... here? Yeah, I can. Oh, yeah. So wow. this is the... Um the end uh we obviously had a big dragon fight here and a bunch of crystals decided to pop up so we had a really really fun time with this one i believe that's episode nine or something for me episode nine or ten uh you guys should definitely check that out because that was a wild fun episode lots of death and destruction so we went through the little portal there and we popped out here at christmas town this was our only um holiday district our only like district that was specifically just for an event or a season uh a lot of servers will usually have like a halloween uh area a christmas area and then sometimes you'll have easter you know some people like to get into the holiday spirits and build little districts this was our christmas town and everybody kind of got in here to contribute in their own little ways beagle you made the tree right or was that... Uh, no, that's Zentra. Zentra, Zentra made the tree, right? I made this look like holiday oh, yes, hat. yes, that's right. You made this nice, cute house here, which I liked to spend time in. It was very nice. Uh, yeah, the idea was that everyone could, like, contribute something on the inside. And Lady Zentra actually contributed. She added the bookshelves and chairs and everything. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah. I actually spent a lot of time sitting here just looking out at the snow globe and whatever. Um, <laughs> uh and then we have an upstairs here, which got creepered. Do, do we have to show this? <laughs> we, we do have to show because if you saw my episode, the I forget which episode it was, but there was an episode, I think maybe 10 or 11, where the creeper blew it up. So Yeah, um, I said I would fix it though when I forgot. <laughs> and then I also, my, my contribution was the... Uh, what is this called? A roller coaster? <laughs> <laughs> What's English? <laughs> Pretty sure you got it right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a. Uh, it's going a lot faster than I remember it. It was supposed to be a lot slower than this. We because I wanted it to ha <laughs> like build tension in certain places, like here, like oh no, are we gonna make it? Okay. And then all <laughs> of a sudden you drop, and then you're good. Like, it's fun to be on it, but it's even more fun to watch someone on it, I think. Yeah, definitely. Fun to spectate. Oof. Especially this next part. Yeah, this next part is very, very entertaining. So we, in here we have Max. Hi, Max, because it's the Grinch's watch lair. Watch out, and Vance. Oh, no! no. <laughs> <laughs> I should have made the delay longer between those so it was, like, closer to you the whole time. Yeah. Oh, well. All right, so that was my contribution to Christmas Town, and that's oh oh I also added snow to the snow globe. <laughs> it's snowing. Yeah. Oh, and then I also want to. I can't leave here without showing. I added the presents under the tree, and then Malik <laughs> set himself up here to stand and wait and watch for Santa. <laughs> <laughs> so uh and then up here of course this is where we did our secret santa gift swap we all dropped our gifts up there and uh had a good time together up next now we're going to show off the shopping district which is i think definitely where everybody spent most of their time yeah there's <laughs> there's a lot of builds here i'm just gonna there's fly no way... <laughs> all the way up to the top of the wandering trader and llama totem pole <laughs> Yeah, there's no way we're, like, gonna talk about everything here. We're just gonna fly around really quickly and probably just point out who built what, right? This totem pole is so tall, but not tall enough. Um, <laughs> not all right. tall enough. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to, like, point at all the shops. That's Birch's Volcano. He sells netherite there. That's Beagle's Random Odd Oddities Shop. That's, uh, uh, 
Zentro's potion shop, the pot shop. Yep. Uh, over there, that's the igloo. We sell snow and ice there. Right there, that's the music shop. We sell music there. <laughs> um, <laughs> underneath the pot shop is a, uh, a a cave where we sell all the different like rocks in the game. Uh, over there, that's Lady Zentra's terracotta shop. Over here, that's the XPC. That's where you can go to spend a diamond on XP to repair tools in Elytra. Uh, right there, that's this is one of the first shops here. I think uh, that's the carrot shop, uh, golden carrot shop. That's Zentra's. Then this is Zentra's dye shop to die for. Right there. Uh, right <laughs> here, you can see the TM through the ceiling. That is Turnip Man's. Uh, first shop and i think it's like his, he only had two or three shops but that's the bookstore he made tons of diamonds from that right here this is everybody's home away from home that beagle made right did zentra, uh, zentra made it and i upgraded and it. then you upgraded it right um uh right here this is the ender porter for everybody in the server uh let's see this big castle here is the slime bouncy castle that's where beagle and i sold slime behind mm -hmm. it is an unfinished sand shop uh, which was going to extort people for sand, pretty much. Um, <laughs> right there was a little TNT shop. Uh, right behind it, that ship there is the rocket shop that Beagle and Turnip shared. I can't see it from here. I'll check it out in a little bit. But then back <laughs> that way is uh, Turnip's uh, other shop. He did a glazed, glazed terracotta. Yeah, yeah, I can't see it from here, unfortunately. But then coming back that way, uh, along the path, Beagle has a melon and a pumpkin uh, shop right there next to the little patches. Um, then we have the honey farm, the, 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 the bee nest, the honey farm, honey shop, whatever I called it. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> then we have Get This Ship Out of Here, which was a miscellaneous store. I sold just pretty much everything that I didn't already have a shop for in that ship. Um, then we have my favorite shop that I built, and I think it was my first shop, and it's the Piggy Bank. I sold gold and things that you got from bartering there, and you get into the shop by climbing through the pig's butthole. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> that little thing that you can see there, that's a redstone shop where I sold redstone, if you can imagine that. Uh, right here, this with the elytra on top of it, that's Lady Zentra's shulker shop and elytra shop. This was uh, Alpha Mike's stem shop and shroom light shop. Over there, we got Beagle's wood shop, uh, which has a little secret base of mine in there. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got the concrete citadel, which is where... Uh, Zentra and I teamed up to sell concrete uh, down in that ravine there. Oh, wait, before I go there, uh, there's another ship here which was supposed to sell stuff but didn't. I think it sold, like, puffer fish maybe. I think that's the only thing you guys actually sold on that ship. I mean, um, I was there just to – I was you were helping. just building. Yeah. That was just for the building there. Zentra was supposed to sell stuff. She was supposed to yes, sell she... coral and fishies there, I think. Yes, 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 yes. Um, and then that other little shack right there is for selling uh, scaffolding. I believe that's all the shops now. Um, so, oh, except for this ravine here. So I'm going to jump down. Oh, man, dude, I don't have wings and I'm in creative. Like, I know I'm not going to die. But holy shit, my stomach was <laughs> dropping that whole time I was falling. I was like, oh, God, I'm dead. Um, so here we have the leap into this ravine, which brings us to Kaze's. I'm pretty sure it's his only shop, right? He, I think it might be. Yeah. yeah, he sold the Prismarine stuff. Because obviously he had the guardian, uh, guardian farm. Uh, but yes, this is a perfect segue for us to head right on in here. Yeah. <laughs> there I we know go. it's so weird with no depth strider. Like we're so slow in the water. All right, so this. Fuck you, goddamn Enderman. <laughs> this is the way to get into my base in Deep Street, which was the last big project really of the season for me and for the other members on the server i for a long time had a plan in my head that i wanted to build an underwater base this season i just needed to finish everything else that i was doing first and ultimately i did finish everything else and i got around to doing this and it actually ended up inspiring all the other members on the server to come and build their own bases underwater and we ended up having an entire district called deep street 
So I'm just going to run through yep. here. This is very recent stuff, honestly. Like, it was all built very recently for me. Um, so if you've seen those episodes, I don't really need to spend much time going through everything. But I'm just going to run through all the different rooms in the house. So you can see kind of what everything looks like here and how it's all set up. I'm going to go upstairs. And we got my little bed here. We got Burger King foot lettuce. Love him. And then our gym area, we got punching bags, treadmills, squat racks, everything you could want coming down here. We are in my storage area slash my kelp farm. Uh, this is an automatic furnace array. It's smelting up some dried kelp for us right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's just working as I walk around. Had a little fish farm here because I needed fishies um, for what was that for club penguin or something yeah oh yeah i needed the puffer fish for club penguin <laughs> uh, sold <laughs> drugs at right there okay um and then we have an ender porter here which is actually hooked up to the one in the starter district sorry shopping district coming down here we have a big fucking mine that i never mined out of because i didn't need stuff i just wanted to build a mine <laughs> um all right so let me come outside of deep street are you a spectator or something right now Yes, oh, okay. I'm like bingo cameraman. You can click. You? you can click on me and get the same exact view as me. Yeah, but it's cool to like fly around you. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> um, out here I built a little stable for skeleton horses, and uh, they are good boys and they stay where they're supposed to, which is cool. Um, I'm very proud of myself for Deep Street because. Uh, I did all of this terraforming. You've, if you've seen an ocean floor in Minecraft, you know that it's not sand. You know that it is gravel, like this out here. This is what the ocean usually looks like, all this crap. But I made it pretty. I made it all sand. I added, um, I added a bunch of corals, uh, you know, air to the area to make it all detailed. I added underwater lakes <laughs> because. I like SpongeBob and so does Alpha Mike. Alpha Mike made SpongeBob's pineapple under the sea over here. And he has Gary. <laughs> and Gary was his storage system down here, which I think is hilarious. Um, and then Beagle also had a house over here. I don't know if you finished it, did you? Yes, I have. I have finished it. It's yes. all details on the Oh my god, I never saw it finished. Okay, so this is good for me to see this. We got a Beagle totem right there. Um <laughs> Oh, okay. A little storage area with the trap doors. That's cool. That's cool stuff. I like I'm just it. Gonna, I'm just going to let you run around and explore on your own, <laughs> to be honest. Oh my god, that's so cool! <laughs> he put a stove with soul sand to make the bubbles. Oh my god, the bubbles! Look at this. Oh, Beagle's a genius. I love this. Okay. This was an it. extremely fun build. And then there was one other house. I didn't want to skip it. I, I did it by accident. This is... Zentra has a house down here, too. It's very cute. Little oh. tower. It's yeah, so like one of those towers you put into the fish tank for your fish. Yeah. And they live in it. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> that actually... That, I wonder if that's what she was going for. All right. So that <laughs> is Deep Street. And <clears throat> now we can move on to the, uh, the gaming district. Which... Yeah. As a community, yeah, yeah. was the last thing that we all did together. This was an insane project. I haven't contributed too much myself. <laughs> no, to be honest. that's true. But it was really mostly just like four of us that did it all, um, and and then everybody else was just supportive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, I did. All of the snow gathering and most of the snow placing, um, I did, I'm going to say most of the ice gathering, even though I know that Birch at the end of the season went and got a ton of blue ice from an ice spikes biome, but I made an ice farm and I got all of that ice and the first few spikes were all my ice too. So um, I did a shit ton of work to help make this build what it was. Lady Zentra and OSR and Mike, the creative builders that they are, were able to make the area so so cool and detailed with these like cracks in the ground, obviously the ice spikes, all the different snow layers. It it, it came out incredible. This guys, this was a mushroom field. 
this is what that was. This was a mycelium biome, and we converted it completely into an ice uh, or a tundra snowy biome, and and we have ice going all the way around the whole peninsula. Um, and we've got games for days. We've got Club Penguin there. We've got Pup. We've got Connect Four, the death games here that I won. That's why my head is there. Um, we have chess and checkers here. I mean, come the fuck on. Chess and checkers in Minecraft. Um, <laughs> we have, oh, yep, all these hoops you see, the speedway. Uh, we have, obviously, the ice race track, that big thing. We've got this PvP arena, the capture for the flag arena here, which looks like it's missing a flag. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> we can fix that. Boop. 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 Missed it. Yeah. There you go. Swag. Um, and then the cube, which is huge and really fun. And then we have my arcade mountain, which has four games in it. It's got Cloud Wars, Shooting Gallery, Parkour Park, and Into the Fire. Um, Gaming District, just my favorite part of the server, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Without going into each game and looking and playing them, which we really don't have to do, because if people want to see the gameplay, they can either check out the episodes that those uh, games were featured in, or they can wait and check out all my post-mortem videos that are going to be coming out on my channel over the next couple months. But yes, uh, that's pretty much the world tour. Yeah, that is basically it. Um, I think we got everything. At least. Except for one thing. Hmm. All right, follow me. I'm pretty sure we got everything, but okay. Do do do. Do you want to show off the? No. And buns. <laughs> okay, so familiar places, yeah. Um, we've already been here. That's true. <sighs> okay. Take a pearl. Do you want me to shoot throw, it into the lava? Throw, <laughs> throw it at the lava. Is there a secret there? Th throw it at the lava. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is so cool. What is this? i never seen this. Keep going. We're going? <laughs> yeah, keep going. <laughs> What is happening? Is this like some sort of freaking SCP experiment or something? What is this? <laughs> Wait, let me fly. I guess kind of. Yeah, we can fly. It's faster. Wow, it's long. That's a lot of concrete. That's what she said. Oh, what is this? It's like the thing, the b -b 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 skull crystal thing mm. from the Corruption Times. Isn't it? Okay. Apparently there's there's more. Beagle, I am sorry to say that I have been compromised. At a certain point in the season, I tried my best to remain neutral in this war that was going on, but my life was threatened and I needed to comply. So Skalk was able to get me to help them with this big laser, which I unfortunately have no choice but to activate right now. I am sorry, Beagle. <laughs> I, 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 I can't tell you what happened or why, but you just need to know that I don't want to do this. I have to do this for my own good. So, <laughs> Initiating start sequence now. So, uh, what just happened? <laughs> um, 
So the big scalp crystal that Lady Zentra had at her base might have just gotten zapped into season two. Ah. I'm so sorry. You know, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was so happy that we finally rid of the corruption <laughs> and all of that, and everything was nicely settled down. Ah, I guess I have still, I still have a bunch of things to clean up. It would seem. <laughs> yeah, but uh, <laughs> lasers, those are cool, right? Lasers are cool, yeah. I mean, that was pretty cool, come yeah. on. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I am sorry, but it does look like the corruption is going to have company in season two. <sighs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Well, with all that said, guys, that's the end of the world tour of season one of Metacraft. <laughs> and, and... The end of my very first ever Minecraft series. So, um, amazing, bittersweet, all the adjectives that I could come up with to describe this. This year-long journey with these people, this weirdo behind me, <laughs> and everybody else <laughs> on the server, was amazing. Uh, it was obviously 2020, a crazy year for everybody. Um, there wasn't a lot going on in my life, so Metacraft basically became my life, and I will always remember this season and all the great times that we had during it. So I want to say thank you to the viewer. If you watched all these episodes, that's a lot of hours of, of content, and I really appreciate you checking it all out. Thank you for joining me on this journey. It was so much fun for me to have, and I'm super, super, super looking forward to Season 2. But in the meantime, please make sure you're checking out the Skyblock Season 1.5. Beagle has his own series of that going on in his channel as well. So make sure you're watching that. And, of course, I have a bunch of other videos still coming out on the channel. And Beagle's always making content too. So um, thank you guys so much. Uh, I... <laughs> I really don't want to stop talking because when I stop talking, it means it's officially over, but it has to end <laughs> at some point. So goodbye, miners and crafters. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you next time. That was bittersweet. So I'm at the shopping district. I've been going around to my shops, checking the stock and gathering diamonds. I don't film this anymore because it's just monotonous and boring for the series, but I needed to show this. Usually every time I come in here, there's anywhere from one to like, I don't know, seven or eight diamonds. And this time is a little different. Um, yeah. Somehow this has in like the last four days pulled in almost two stacks of diamonds 
which is insane, which combined with what I've already pulled from my other shops is almost two stacks of diamonds of profit today. What? This, this is a great. I great already played pile played there diamonds. 50, so. But that's different, right? Pico, why didn't you come in and take it? <laughs> oh, that, that would be smart, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Want to try again, Mike? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Beagle, I was like stalling so long, like I was shift walking I, I around. I can't see <laughs> the, the entities from that far. Oh, I had okay. No idea.